welcome to another Watch and Learn with Kim and Christina. We've actually got a lot of really fun things planned today. So you kind of caught us in the middle of one of our favorite things to do during the holidays, which is to sit and watch Hallmark movies. In our pajamas. In our pajamas and work on quilting projects. So we'll both have our projects. I guess we can set these aside for a yeah. minute while we chat with all of you. It sure was fun to watch all of you uh, chiming in on the intro there, seeing where you're all from. Very fun, isn't it? Yes. I'm so excited. We're going to talk about our year that we had oh. for 2021. It's been a whirlwind. It has. It's been such a crazy year. We, we were talking, looking back over this last year, we were like, we cannot believe. I feel like it's been the world's longest year at the same time over in a blink, right? Exactly. So first of all, we just want to let everybody know that we really are live. So if you've got questions, go ahead and put those in the comments and Caleb will pop those up on the screen and we'll, a we'll answer them. Um, we've got a few extra things up our sleeves for today too. Yes. <laughs> so uh, let's dive into our little list here. Um, so first of all, what was the biggest change for us this year versus what we've done in the past in the studio? I would say our job responsibility. Oh yeah, our totally Our focus changed. has completely changed to filming mm -hmm. with COVID and the shutdowns and everything that happened mm -hmm. everything went virtually and yeah we couldn't have in-person events so no. we started doing a lot more filming mm -hmm. and that kind of stuck and it's just elevating more and more so yeah. lots and lots of filming that we do and we've learned a lot yes we have we still have a lot to learn we, we apologize do. when we have all of our fun little bloopers <laughs> <clears throat> which you'll yes. get to see later. Yes. Yeah. Do we get to see some fun little bloopers right now, though? Yeah. With our fabulous Kayla. Videography, you guys can't see her. I'm pointing <laughs> to her off screen over here. So this year has been a lot of <laughs> learning. Yeah, Kayla, step in over here. Um, so Kayla has thoughtfully provided a reel. There's Kayla. <laughs> hey, Kayla. She's the, the woman behind the camera. She's the one that makes us look amazing, makes all the quilts look, look amazing. She does such a great job. So Kayla put together a fun little blooper reel of all the times that we talk to her when we're on film when we shouldn't be. So Kayla, you wanna go ahead and roll that one? Kayla. Kayla. Caleb. Kayla, Kayla, our yes. amazing photographer, videographer, extraordinaire, yes. the queen of all filming here at Handy Quilter. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> Kayla. Kayla will get some good shots of that. Kayla, remember this part here. Kayla, cut out all this audio, okay? Did you hear that, Kayla? Kayla, he's about to sneeze. Thanks, <laughs> Kayla. Kayla, could we show that? Kayla, stop, stop recording and start again. <laughs> Kayla, sweating. Kayla. I'm trying to be a one take wonder. Oh, Kayla, that was funny. Yeah, can you get this one, Kayla? Kayla does this too. Oh, oh, you. Oh, Kayla. Do I look okay? Yeah. Kayla. Okay. Can you see this far over, Kayla? <laughs> Kayla's really gonna have some fun stuff. Oh no, are you recording the whole thing, <laughs> Kayla? Can you see the top of that quilt in the shot, Kayla? You can zoom out just a little bit more there, Kayla. Kayla. There you go. Kayla. So now. Action. We can't say things that Kayla can use. Sometimes I say F, okay? Kayla, don't put that on the B-roll. This is where Kayla gets her workout. Look at that girl, holding that up well, with her she back. Told me, Kim, she told me she hasn't been going to the gym. Oh, goodness. I know. We can fix that. Can you believe that? What a slacker she's What a doing? slacker. Cut that part out, Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, you did not. Oh, crap, I just saw that. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> well, maybe we should have saved up for the oh, end. I know. I know if I can get through the rest of this stuff. Okay, we're going to have to grab Kleenexes <laughs> here. Oh my gosh, Kayla. So, um, oh. as you can see, we have a lot of fun <laughs> while we're filming, um, <clears throat> especially uh, in those in between moments. And luckily, Kayla catches all of them. So, now you all know <laughs> when we start talking about Kayla. <laughs> what who we're referring to what's going on and just remember she is the queen of all things filming here at handy quilter we love kayla <laughs> oh goodness oh, all right okay so lots of oh, yes Woo. Woo. let's bring it back in i know roll it back in 
So let's talk about some more quilting related things, Christina, shall we? Yeah. So another thing that we yeah. do here in the studio mm -hmm. is we teach events and retreats. Yeah, yeah. And we were so excited this year. Yes. I mean, it started a little slow, but yep. we've been able to start doing things in person again. Yeah. So it's been a lot of fun to have people coming into the studio mm -hmm. and spending time with us and getting to teach again um, with actual people. It's no. yeah, it's been amazing. We went from the beginning of the year um, at being able to have a very minimum amount of students in here to our last retreat that we did in October with Clearful. And it was so much fun just to have that energy back in the studio, have everyone back, uh, just it's having a different feel. Having fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just it's been so much fun. But let's talk for a minute about the ultimate event that we do every year. Academy. Academy. Oh my gosh. Yes. Academy this year was amazing, wasn't it? It was. So the year before we had to cancel it mm -hmm. because of all of the restrictions. Yeah. We did a virtual Academy, Yeah. which fun, but it's just not. The same. No, it's not. So, it's not. Yeah. So in 2021, we were able to do our in-person yeah. event at Academy. Yeah. Um, of course, it was limited numbers of people. Mm -hmm. So we were able to do two back-to-back -back sessions. Yes. Um, so that we could get as many people here as we could accommodate. And it was a lot of fun. Oh, it was so much fun this it, year. It, it really pushed us. Mm -hmm. It we, did. We used a different system this year. We mm -hmm. used a track system yep. um, to try to minimize how many people were moving back and forth between mm -hmm. different spaces. And it worked out so well that we're going to continue that. Yeah. And we're getting ready for the next Academy already. Oh, goodness gracious. I know. Um, Details will follow later. Yes. We don't have anything out yet. No, so no, no. <laughs> don't even ask. I know. We're working we, on it. <laughs> we, we got to enjoy our Christmas break. And then when we come back, we'll uh, we'll get into that. Yeah. So Janet Lakari And Janet, by the way, thanks for being one of our top viewers. We always love when we see your name pop up. Um, so this fireplace, Christina, why don't you take a second and tell us about this awesome fireplace? This fireplace right here is all fabric. Yes. I created it last year for our decorating contest here at Handy Quilter. Which we won. Totally won. <laughs> this year, another story. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, I loaded on a piece of red Christmas fabric and mm -hmm. then I used chenille it to create this brick. So just straight line quilting and then I added in the fire yeah. and tried to make it look like wood and smoke and it's flames amazing. and yeah. I, I just had a lot of fun. And then up above, I took all of our batting scraps and stuffed it to make it look like a mantle and hung some stockings. Is there and something that you're laughing yes, at that I can't I see am. It's screen? actually Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> Christina did do an amazing job on that, didn't she, Johnny? Hey, and we miss you, Johnny. Just want to say it. Yep. Um, so we get to do fun projects like this in the studio every once in a while. We get to push our boundaries and do some fun stuff with it. We love it. Um, what were we, oh, Academy. Academy. Yeah. Finishing off with Academy. So yeah, be looking. Uh, we're thinking registration will probably happen January, February, somewhere in there. So we've we've got stuff lined up. We've just got a few details left to get ironed out. And then, uh, yeah, more details coming. Yeah. Stay tuned with the newsletter. We'll keep yeah. you posted. If you don't get the weekly newsletter through your email, mm -hmm. go on to handyquilter.com and sign up so that you do get that um, yeah. email each week because that will have the details in it and give you plenty of notice. Um, yep when signups are happening. Exactly, exactly. So let's talk about some of the other fun things that we did this year when we got together in groups. So one of the really cool things we get to do every year is a training with all of our national educators. And we usually have anywhere from uh, 25 to 40, just depending on how things are rolling. And this year we had about, it was about 25 of us, uh, of them that, that got to come here to Handy Quilter headquarters. And we decided to do a little challenge this year. Um, what do we do? It is a block challenge and yes. I actually have mine yeah. sitting here. Oh, you know what? I should have grabbed mine. Mm -hmm. I have a picture to show. I'll show you oh. later, but yeah, Christina's got hers here. Yours is smaller than mine. So it's a little easier to show here. So what we up. did was there was fabric that was purchased in different colors and sent to all of the educators and each educator had to make 12 of the same blocks. And then when they came, we swapped out those mm -hmm. blocks and now each person has to create a quilt using those blocks and it's due next month yeah so later on we're going to talk about our goals um yeah this is going to be one of my goals for the very beginning of 2020 yes. to actually get it quilted yeah 
So well, I'm right there with you on that one. Block. And let's see, that's a Kim block. That's one of mine. Is there another Kim block uh, somewhere? I don't know. It might be my in, other one in here. It might be in the other. Pile. I don't. I don't see it here. That's a. What of Christina's there. box? Is that yours? No, it's got your name on it. It though. has my name on it though. <laughs> This is this is the block that you made. This is the one that Johnny made. Um, I don't remember the other one. most of the names on here. Anyway, it was a lot. It was so much fun to do that. Um, we will definitely have um, posts and some other things to show you the amazing quilts that all the educators uh, made with these uh, sampler blocks and and the quilting on them. We're really excited to see them. So that that was something that was really fun. Um, Christina and I also had a really, a couple of really fun things happen towards the end of this year. Once again, as things kind of opened up and we were able to travel, uh, we, and, and there's gonna be a upcoming HQ Live about this, um, but we actually got to go to Missouri to go, to go to Hamilton, Missouri, the quilt mecca town of the world and do a retreat there. And that was definitely a bucket list item for me. I don't know about you. It, it definitely was. Um, but it wasn't that we got to go to a retreat, but mm -hmm. we actually taught a retreat there. Yeah. So we got to have, I like to say, the best of both worlds. So we had fun teaching. We got to interact with the students. Yeah. We got to meet Jenny Doan, mm -hmm. such a, such, such a, such a, such a, such, such a sweet lady. Such a sweet lady. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun with her yeah. and just amazing people there. The retreat center, mm -hmm. the, the ladies amazing. that worked there took care of everything. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Um, All we had to do was eat, sleep, quilt, and teach. It was awesome. Yeah. We didn't have to do anything else. It was amazing. Um, I, I do have to throw this in here real quick just because it popped <laughs> yeah. into my head. So um, the setup is there were different, like a set of people in each mm -hmm. room with their, their beds and stuff. So Kim and I shared a bedroom mm -hmm. and then the room next to us, one morning those ladies came up and they're like, was everything okay? We heard you guys crying last night. <laughs> We were laughing so uncontrollably that we were both in tears and we could not control ourselves. No. And we thought something was wrong, but yeah, yeah, it was just us having a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We had a, a lot of fun. Experience. Yeah. So we've got a question from Michelle Pendleton. She says, I have truly enjoyed the watch and learn videos and I've learned so much. And Michelle, we just want to say thanks for the compliment. Uh, we really have worked so hard to make sure that that education that Handy Quilter is known for shows up in all those watch and learn videos. So we appreciate that. So she asks, this is which watch and learn episode was your favorite to do and which ones have gotten the most reactions? Wow. Um, the favorite That's ones possible. to film. I don't even know. We had a lot of fun and this actually wasn't a watch and learn, but this last summer we did, um, the summer show and we did a live every day for a week and oh my gosh that one was so much fun especially because at the end of the week we gave that special quilt to Kayla um which we had been like Ooh, planning that was that one kind of sticks out in my head that was really fun and I felt like we got we we had a lot of people that I think really enjoyed it so that was fun yeah. what about you um I think the one that had the best response for me personally it was um I think it was an HQ live mm -hmm. um rather than a watch and learn but it was my crazy scrappy quilt. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I don't even know if it was this year. It might have been the year before. It's oh, all that's over. okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I could not get over how yeah. many pictures people have sent in or posted of the quilts that they made using that technique. So many people have come up to me and talk to me about it and just, oh, this is so freeing. I love mm -hmm. this. So yeah. I, I really had fun with that one. That was that was an amazing one. And it's it the reaction to that one. Mm -hmm has just been bonkers. It's yeah. been amazing to see that. So thanks for that question. That was a really great question. Um, so trip to Missouri, we had one other event at the end of the year that it was, was absolutely amazing. Week. Yeah, we're still <laughs> recovering. That's why we're at work in our pajamas today because we're oh. <laughs> worn out. So we had a special guest in the studio. We did, we had the artist Luke Haynes come mm -hmm. in and do some training with us last week. Yeah. And we were supposed to be treating him. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it was more the other way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. The ideas that he has and the, just the way his brain works yeah. was just amazing. Yeah. And I, I, I want to say he's inspiration for me. Oh, I totally agree. So things that I want to do for next year, mm -hmm. I want to incorporate so many of his ideas. Yeah. And um, the affirmation quilts. Oh, 
for those of you that haven't followed the social media, um, what he does is with his wife, they make affirmation quilts. It's just uh, like sheets that are sewn together, mm -hmm. just kind of random. And then they put words on these mm -hmm. and then they take them, take the quilts and drop them somewhere. Yeah. Just random places and just leave the quilt there. And it has a little sign or label on the front of it. Um, I can't remember the exact words, but along the lines of this was made with love. If you want it, take it. This is yours. It can be washed. Yeah. And um, so we were able to help him use Pro Stitcher Designer yep. to create the words mm -hmm. and then couching and stitching out those words on his quilts. And we actually got to do a drop. And, and it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were like little kids, you know, we should put the picture on of the three of us hiding behind the post. Waiting really? for people to come and look Hanging at Hanging out. Quilt. Waiting for people to come find this. And we were like hiding there. <laughs> Lily, um, Lily Berry, one of our graphic designers here, uh, took this picture. But isn't that fun? We, we just had the best time. It really was such a great experience um, to be able to do that. And, and the best part is we like film the whole thing. And so there's actually going to be an HQ Live in a few months where you guys will all get to be part of that. Um, and we definitely are issuing a challenge to get out there and make some affirmation quilts, get out there, put, put that love out in the world. It was, yeah, it was, I've already started I know, my, I know I went, I went home, <laughs> I went home and got, my mom just gave me, my mom just moved and she gave me a pile of sheets and I'm like thinking, oh, I have some good stuff to start with here. So yeah, so that was, it was just so amazing having him here and getting that inspiration. Such a great kind of nice little bow on the end of the year for us here. So yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. That's kind of, so that's kind of a general overview of experiences we've shared this year. Yes. Now we wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about some more, like some of our personal, especially quilts we finished, things like that this year. So okay, we've got, we've got a couple of questions first though. So let's go, let's go to those questions and answer them. Oh, Sue Marshall wants to know what our favorite holiday movies are. Anything with a cute cowboy. I know. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. We, yes, if you're watching, I didn't mean it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just make your husband more Wranglers. It's all good. Should we tell him? Oh, we'll tell him in the other yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Spoil everything. So I absolutely love, my family has a tradition. We always watch A Christmas Story on Christmas Day. So that's my favorite Christmas movie. We've been watching it for forever. So yeah. yeah. I like Elf too. Yeah, Elf. It's oh my cool. gosh. I love that movie. I, I almost wore my Elf socks today, but I didn't. I wore my ice skating Santa Claus socks. That's okay. 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 So Sin Smith is saying, first time I've commented. Way to go. Made a quilt, orange peel-ish. I love that. Completely on my Amara. Used oh. flannel. No pins, no glue. Totally love your watch and learn so kudos to oh, you I christina about that one. yeah oh yeah that was another fun one i know I really like doing those. christina Wait. is the master of of like okay i'm only going to use one sewing machine to do this <laughs> entire quilt and it is going to be my handy quilter so she is yeah. amazing at that so glad to see that you guys have been inspired by that i know i keep thinking i want to but i might change the, the size of my melons on my quilt <laughs> sorry little inside joke there you guys will have to watch that video um, so let's talk a little bit about some, some, uh, like personal goals that we had, you know, it's yeah. that time of year where you kind of reflect and think about things. So I've got some pictures I want to share with you guys of kind of my year in review, and I'll kind of talk you guys through a few things I've got here. So first of all, this is a quilt that I started last year and you guys guess what? It still looks exactly like this. <laughs> it is not finished. I'm still working on it. However, my goal is to get it back on my frame um, and have it finished before December 31st. So check back, we'll see if we get there. Um, this was the first quilt I made last year and finished. And this was for my brand new nephew who was born, his name's Griffin, such a little cutie. He lives in uh, Pennsylvania. And you guys will notice here, there's gonna be a theme. I tend to take pictures of my quilts before I quilt them and then I never get an actually finished picture. So as you can see, it's hanging off of my ironing board there. 
Um, so this is uh, the back of a quilt. Uh, we, we get a really awesome opportunity in the studio. We actually get to quilt quilts for um, American Patchwork and Quilting, the magazine. They send us quilts. So this is, this is one that I did this year that I really love. So this is the back of it. You can see the quilting there really good. Quick little sneak peek of the front. Here it is actually in the magazine. It was in the 2021 APQ. Um, kind of fun to actually have that experience. It's something I never thought I'd actually get a quilt in a magazine and it's a chance I get to do. So <laughs> here's my dog, Daisy. Everybody knows that I love Daisy. Here's uh, one of the first quilts I finished at the beginning of the year. It's a double wedding, or no, it's a feathered star, not a double wedding ring. And you'll notice that uh, once again, I took the picture um, before the quilt completely <laughs> I haven't trimmed it here, haven't done the binding. It's a good one, but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing that. Um, this is another project that I started and haven't finished, and I don't know if I will, let's be honest. Well, we are gonna be talking about your goals for next yeah. year. So let's just throw yeah. that one in there right now. Yeah, so so this, this I started out doing a block of the month this year, and uh, I kind of stalled because I didn't love my fabric when I started putting it together. So I gotta figure out how to kind of fix that. Um, so moving into the, you remember these quilts, Christina, yep. I have a double wedding ring, another double wedding ring, and another double wedding ring. Um, Christina kind of started this. For Academy every year, we have a, a, a quilt that's the theme. And Christina's daughter got married. I'll let her tell the rest of that story. But she had, um, uh, she made a double wedding ring quilt and then she threw down the challenge for all of us to do it. So I made not just one, I actually made four. So I have three of them finished, which you guys just saw. Then came the end of the school year and we all know what that brings, graduation. So I had three nieces and a son who graduated from college this year. Of course, I have a picture of quilts one and two, and you'll notice once again, not finished, just the quilt top. This one isn't even pieced together. Um, and then one of them, I didn't even get any pictures of, but I got the quilts finished for the three girls, my three nieces. Um, my son's quilt still, <laughs> all the t-shirts are still in a bag. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, you know, there is a great video out there on I making know. a t-shirt quilt on the long arm. I really need to watch that, don't I, Christina? <laughs> oh my gosh. So the next quilt I finish um, is actually, this is kind of a special one. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. This doily was made by my grandma, Joanne, who passed away in 2009. And she is definitely one of my inspirations when it comes to quilting. And Christina and I did a video recently. Did that actually, it, it, it already aired, huh? Um, about quilting with vintage linens. And so I made this quilt in memory of my grandma. And yeah, once again, it's not completely finished here. It is actually finished. It's hanging it's on the hanging wall in the, the studio. Over there. Um, so this is my next project. You guys actually saw me doing a little bit of handwork at the beginning of this video. Um, this is the quilt I'm working on. It's going to take me forever, but I love it. It's a pattern by Carolyn Friedlander called Ring. If I remember right, shoot, I was going to look it up. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And uh, this is all hand turned, needle turned applique, hand applique. How do I even say that? Yeah. So it's taking a long time. Now this quilt is very special. This is my, story. this is my shout out to Heidi, who is one of the graphic designers here and Heidi's had kind of a rough year. And so I decided to make her, I know, and Heidi, this quilt's for you. It's called All the Purples because Heidi loves purple. And I made this quilt to hang behind her desk at work. So as you can see here, once again, um, no binding on it. However, I've got it here. I can show you guys the actual thing. So Heidi, when you get back in the office, we're so excited for you to see this quilt. Uh, here's just a couple of pictures that I took while we were in Hamilton. My favorite, this is uh, the three with, with the true superstar, Casey, um, Casey Grundy there in the center. Hey, Heidi, I'm so glad you love it. Um, so we've got Casey there in the center being the uh, super, the Superman that he is. The truck drivers are the uh, hidden success behind all of our events, aren't they, yes. Christina? Yes, they're amazing. And then look at this. We really did, we have proof, we did get to meet Jenny Doan. Amazing. 
Um, and we stopped in and said hi to Angela Walters while we were on that trip too. Yeah. She's actually, her shop is not too far. One of our awesome retailers. And I don't know, I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. Um, Angela was definitely part of my quilting journey, learning how to free motion quilt. She's a great inspiration and a lovely person. Yeah. Um, okay, this next picture is actually for a quilt that I am almost done with. This is inspiration. This is my daughter standing in the BYU Museum of Art um, lobby, and she's looking up at these. You guys see all those colors there at the top. This is actually a, a string sculpture, and she came home and said, Mom, I want you to make me a quilt with the colors in it. So I started on a quilt for her. You guys can see it on my design wall here. I actually have the top piece. I'm hoping to get it loaded on the frame and quilted in the next couple of days. So that's my other quilt that I want to finish by the end of the year. That's my that's my goal. Here's my educator block quilt. Yes. yes. You got lots of blocks. In I have lots of blocks. Lots and lots of blocks. Um, I hope to get this finished by the end of the year too. But let's be real. We're looking at three quilts. We'll see what. It'll definitely be done by. The now let's talk about next year. Okay. So this is this is my goal for next year. I want to do I want to do um, some quilts that are inspired by this picture. Just a couple of weeks ago, on a trail not too far from my house, um, it had just snowed that morning. Is that better? Okay. Is it okay? I, I took my dog for a walk on the trail and it was near sunrise. You guys can see that there and the colors. I want to do these colors in a quilt this next year. So that's my, that's my goal. And then just a little end of the year happiness. This was me and Christina being total fan girls when we, when Luke was here in the studio with us, it was amazing. Such a great experience. So, I didn't realize you had all of those pictures to share with everybody. I did. I totally did. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Maybe that was a little TMI, but um, <laughs> my quilting journey over the year. So my goal is this next year to finish the hand applique, which, yeah, like I showed you, I'm still working on it. Actually, I love being able to go home in the evenings and do some handwork. It's great. Um, and, and then the orange, the orange, I think the orange is going to be my color for this next year. It's your favorite color is orange. It is right now. Color is blue. I yeah. say we like comp complimentary colors and we're complimentary people. So we're getting it all done. I love it. I love so it. Show us your pile and then yes. we'll go through my pictures. Yeah. Stuff. So here are a bunch of these blocks here. I'm going to hand this over. Um, a bunch of these blocks that I have finished. I just want to show you guys. I really do look. There's lots of them done. Um, here's my other double wedding ring quilt that I have not quilted yet. It's just a small one, but this is actually gonna be for my friend Deanne, who is a quilter. And uh, yeah, because these are her favorite colors. She actually came over to my house and was like, oh, these are my colors. And I was like, okay. So her birthday is in February, so that's the goal. And if Deanne, right. if you're watching, be sure to be really surprised when I give that to you. Um, here's one of my double wedding ring quilts, the blue and green one. Um, here's my other one, the green one, which I'm going to take home and hang these up. These ones were so much fun. Year. It was a very green year for me. Orange next year. Um, Heidi's quilt right here with the binding. Are you all so proud? It has the binding on it. And it's not just glued on? No, it's not. It's actually stitched down. Aren't you proud of me? That's progress. It's absolutely. And here's the quilt for Maya. I told you I have the quilt top done. Um, she actually just got a brand new bed. She got a king size bed. So this is huge. A lot of quilting to get done here. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of my show and tell for the year. Okay, what are kind of some of your goals for 2022 other than finishing the few that you just showed us? Yeah. Do you have anything else that you're really wanting to get done? Well, I'm. we're working, we have in the works and I can't talk about them too much, but we have in the works some more I fun ideas for filming, maybe a few more live events type things. We've got we've got some fun stuff uh, kind of up our sleeves. Okay, move this stuff but over here. But for you personally? Me personally, um, this next year, well, travels back on the list. I'm really excited. I've got some very fun trips coming up soon. Um, 
we made a goal in the studio that each one of us would get an opportunity to go work at a show this year. So I've got at least one show on the docket. You can um, tell them which one. Um, Is that hush hush still? You know what? Let's keep it on the QT because who knows? <laughs> Things might change. Things might change. That's kind of how we roll around here. <laughs> so, so I would say those are those are pretty much the big goals. My other thing is I definitely want to make more quilts this next year than I did last year. Um, we had a few house projects like ripping out and replacing carpet and repainting and doing a bunch of those things that kind of took up a lot of my time. And so I'm hoping I have more time to actually quilt and sew this next year. So, so I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm trying to envision what our viewers are thinking right now. After you just went through that huge, long list of stuff, that, and you're like, oh, I didn't really have time to do like anything. half as many quilts as I usually make, though. She does so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Idle hands are the, well, anyway, <laughs> that's what my mom used to always say. <laughs> what can I say? I like to be busy. I like to do things with my hands. I like to, I enjoy doing that. So, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, Christina, okay. how about you? Let's see what you've got planned yeah, for this next year. Really fun year. So, let me pull up some pictures here. So I started out the year, um, I was the one oh. that kind of created the rulers of the month. Yeah, I forgot about that. And did all of the filming for those. Yeah. So I had to come up with ideas of how to actually use the rulers mm -hmm. and samples for it. So that was one of the first quilts that I did this year. And I, I kind of picked and chose which pictures I put in here. So I only put ones that I actually pieced. Um, that's the back of it. So that's all ruler work. Oh, it's so amazing. So just having a lot of fun with it. I like to do a lot of charity quilts. Um, this one, sorry, Heidi, this one wasn't yours, <laughs> even though it is purple, but it was for my neighbor. She was in the hospital and she really liked purple. So I made her a quick quilt that she could cuddle with. Okay. This is the double wedding ring that started Whoa! it all. That so, quilt. I had my first child get married this year mm -hmm. and I knew I needed to make a wedding quilt for her. And a double wedding ring was something that had always been on my bucket list. I never made one. So I wanted to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. And we have the AccuCut that has That's the, right. the different shapes for it. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, piece of cake. Mm -hmm. We'll just cut those out and sew them together. Goodness <laughs> gracious, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Um, yeah, so lots and lots of piecing. Yeah. But once I got started, then just jokingly, mm -hmm. I challenged the rest of the team. And we and took the challenge. Kim definitely took on the challenge. And Kelly made one also. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I know you're watching. The challenge still exists. Yeah. You can do it. So, um, yeah, so that's the double wedding ring. And I tried to pick out fabrics that I had in my stash, of mm -hmm, course, mm -hmm. uh, because I like to use my stash. But I found some fabric that had tires on it because my son-in-law likes to go jeeping and is really into that kind of stuff. Um, I tried to pick out some stuff for my daughter also, but now I'm totally drawing a blank and I can't remember what it was. So I love my daughter. <laughs> so that's the double wedding ring. And it also became the focal quilt for our academy. Mm -hmm. So if you've seen any of the pictures from Academy, most of them have this quilt hanging in the background. That's right. And it has gotten a lot of use. Mm -hmm. um, I used it for Academy. <laughs> I've had it hanging here. Mm -hmm. um, I've got it here today. It hung at their wedding reception. And yeah, so. Awesome quilt. Yeah. Um, we have a gallery here at Handy Quilter and we have to have quilts that we can display. So in February, we needed some Valentine quilts. So I threw this one together real quick. And then I gifted it to one of my friends that let my daughter have her wedding reception in their yard. Nice. So multi-purpose. It's all about, oh, there's Morgan and Mitchell wrapped up in the quilt for their engagement pictures. So cute. Um, this is another one of my strip piece quilts that I do for charity. This is a wedding quilt that I made. Okay, I've got this one here with me today also. This is the Dream Big. Yeah. And I have to say, I am not one of those people that likes to jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, no, definitely I, not. I like to be unique, and I swore I would never do one of these Dream Big panels. So what happened? It came out in blue and yellow. <laughs> I have a weakness for blue and yellow. Yes, you do. So <laughs> I finally bought it. 
and then a couple years even longer before I actually got to play with it. But lots of fun. We talked about how we have lots of film in here. Mm -hmm. And so this was a sample that I created for filming, talking about different types of thread. Gorgeous. And um, I also digitized all of those designs that were stitched on there. Mm -hmm. So playing with Pro Stitcher Designer, used it for filming, and it's now hanging in our um, in Richard's office, the head of quality assurance. Yeah. He's probably got a better title than that, but I can't remember titles. We're at 40 minutes, so we're going to start talking oh, faster. Oh, are we? Another wedding quote. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a little mini pillow to go with the double wedding ring. Gorgeous. And Sorry I took too long. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, your daughter wanted something really cool inspired by all of these fancy colors. My daughter wanted me to take two pieces or yeah, two pieces of fabric and just stitch them together. Go integrate. figure. <laughs> so unique. Okay, so oh, this is the quilt that, that I really want to talk about. Mm -hmm. This is my Alaska quilt. I grew up in Alaska, lived there my whole life, and um, this past summer, my parents announced that they were going to be selling and moving out of Alaska. Yeah. So I had this kit that I had seen. Of course, it's in blues, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. it was called Alaska, so I had to get the kit. Or actually, I didn't get the kit. I just got the pattern. Pattern, yeah. Um, and I rarely buy patterns. No, that's right. So this was very different for me. Um, so I bought the pattern, and then when they said that they were moving, I said, okay, I better hurry up and get this piece together. So I pieced this in record time and took it to Alaska with me. Mm -hmm. And it was, have you, have you heard of the Flat Stanley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this was my Flat Stanley. I love it. And it went all over the state of Alaska. My poor kids had to help me hold this quilt everywhere we went, and they were so <laughs> sick of it by the end but I had it in a Ziploc bag in my backpack everywhere I went and it has so many fun pictures with it, but that's my Alaska quilt. I love and it. And this is my goal for 2022 is to actually get it quilted. So it's just the top still. Okay. So Janet Lakari is asking if Alaska is your home state. It is. Yep. Yeah. Born and raised in Alaska. Yep. 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 So. Okay. So that's the Alaska quilt. Um, another charity quilt. Fun. This is another oh. quilt top that um, I made because I want to learn how to do um, English paper piecing. I was going to say, what was the technique on this one again? <laughs> I, I wanted to say paper piecing, but English paper piecing. I'd never done that before. So this is just a small sampler to mm -hmm. get me going. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of leading into other things. But it's this cute. is one that's on my goal for 2022 to get quilted. Mm -hmm. Uh, we mm -hmm. had somebody comment earlier about the watch and learn where I created this particular quilt. Mm -hmm. All all done on the long arm. Yep. Okay, this is what I call my mini Alaska. Yes. So this is just the center part of that Alaska quilt that I made. Mm -hmm. And I did it just as a test to see if I could actually piece it <laughs> before I dug into the real fabric. So smart. So I don't normally buy fabric for quilts, but for that Alaska quilt, I actually bought fabric specifically for it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to screw it up. So yeah. this was my sample one. And um, I had a lot of fun quilting it. Yeah. So I love the quilting on that one. And there's the back of it. Mm. Okay, this was one of my grandma's quilt tops that um, I finished for her. Awesome. Just playing around using up scraps and trying out some raw edge applique on the long arm. Mm -hmm. This is from our doily watch and learn. And this served two purposes. It was doilies and it was also um, feathers because mm -hmm. I had to teach a feathers class. So if I zoom in, I have a variety of different types of feathers throughout this whole quilt. I've got different stems using some fills, but just playing around and trying out new things so that I could use that for quilting. Love Does that show up in there? Mm -hmm. Is it too dark? Okay. Okay, another backdrop multi-purpose quilt. Mm -hmm. I created it as, it was for a baby gift, but I did it in the colors for one of our filmings. So mm -hmm. everything I do seems to be for multiple purposes. I know, I know. Okay, so back to the Eng English paper PC. Mm -hmm. I've started again in blue and white. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so creative. Um, I've started making these, I don't even know what the shape is. And I'm, I'm going to, over my lifetime, eventually make enough of these that I can make a quilt. Awesome. With all of them. So 
that's what I'm doing. I love it. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I about this, this one. one. This is a bunch of blocks that I'm using up the fabric from my Alaska quilt. Uh -huh. And just trying different blocks. Like, isn't that block fun? Oh, so cool. And that one. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah. So I've been going through all of my books and finding different blocks that I wouldn't normally make. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to try them. Yeah. So I, yeah. I'm just throwing blocks in there and eventually they might get together. Okay, okay. charity quilts. Charity quilts. Oh, you guys saw that one earlier. Yeah. This is a oh. variation on a Missouri star pattern for Christmas tree, except I created my own paper piecing pattern for the star awesome. and I was so proud of myself. It looks I only great. lost a few points. <laughs> um, another thing that I've been doing this year is digitizing. Mm -hmm. So these are some designs that I created for um, a customer's quilt and um, just to, to really emphasize what was on the quilt top. Nice. To make it really special. Anyway, I think that that's it on my list. Wow. So. Oh, Christina, your stuff. Awesome, awesome. Do I even want to pull out this stack since we already yeah, saw them Yeah, 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 just show them. They're okay. They are real, they are real. So this is the Alaska quilt, Alaska and I told you how quilt. it traveled around yes. a lot. You can see I might have to replace my border. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do know that one of the seams in the border got ripped somewhere. Oh no. But it was so worth it. Yeah. So much fun. Totally. So, and I will get that done sometime in my life. Yes. Hopefully this year. Yes. Okay. This is the mini Alaska. Mm, love this one. And it's the exact same pattern as the other one, just the center section. So gorgeous. And I love this one actually hangs, is hanging behind our desk right mm -hmm. now. And it's fun to, it's fun to see it every day at work. Yep. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my dream big. Oh, such a fun quilt. And this one was done all free motion. You, you can tell it was sitting next to the Christmas tree over here. Yes, it's got a little, a little bit of fluff on it. Oh but my, my goal with this was to try a different fill mm -hmm. in every single petal. Mm. I think you can ch check the box on that. Yep. You did a good job. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a lot of fun. Plain. Yeah. yeah. That is such a fun. I like my, fun, my stuff back. to be enjoyable. I don't want it to be stressful. Yeah. So we have a question. Uh, Janet says, my goal is to learn everything I can about using pro stitcher. That's a great goal for next year. Definitely. And, you know, hopefully one of our goals this next year is to continue to bring the awesome education and do even more tutorials. So stay, stay tuned for that. Um, so Julie says, need more ruler videos for those of us who receive the mystery box. Ooh, that's a challenge for you. So most of the rulers have videos that are available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you might have to kind of search for them. I'm not sure where they're all located, but if you search like ruler of the month club, a lot of those mm -hmm. rulers are on there. If you can't find a specific one, you can send us an email here mm -hmm. at Handy Quilter and, um, or go on to handyquilter.com and send in a support ticket and we can help direct you to a video. And if we can't find one, we'll just make one real quick for you. Yeah, Christina's really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> She's always got something on the frame. In fact, I think you've got two projects back there on the frame right now. Yep. So we've, we've got stuff. Well, there was one other thing that happened this year that we both were a little <sighs> about. We both had to start doing oh. this thing. You guys, it has come <laughs> in order to do the, the handwork. So we just want everyone to know <laughs> that we have joined the ranks officially. And uh, when you see us struggling to uh, thread that needle, <laughs> thread that <laughs> on yeah. on camera. It's hard. Just know that, you know, give us a shout out that we need to put our glasses on so we can see what in the world we're doing. Yes. I'm going to shout out to you also. One other thing mm -hmm. that happened this year. Yeah. Kim has a new job title. Oh, that's this right. year. So she's moved from being just a studio educator like me uh, up to being the studio manager. Yeah. Is that the official title? Uh, Education mm, sure, manager, sure. Something sure. like that. Yeah. Anyway. So she's changed positions. We've had a lot of changes here in yeah, Handy have. Quilter, um, not just in the education department, but we're really excited. We've got um, new team members and we're going to be yeah. seeing them more often. Yes, so. yes, yes, we are in the new year. We're really excited about that. Yeah. Well, I think the best way to maybe wrap this up is to see all the goofs and mistakes <laughs> we made this year. Keep us humble. 
So Kayla has kindly made Kayla, a blooper Kayla. reel. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Kayla has kindly made a blooper reel that we're going to let everyone watch and enjoy. So uh, we're not going to come back after the end of it because we'll probably be laughing so hard we really will be crying. But we just wanted to wish everyone happy holidays, uh, happy new year, and just say thanks so much for watching us. We really appreciate the love and support, the um, the all the questions we get, all the projects we see, the comments you make. We want everyone to keep it up and we really look forward to doing more of this this next year. So thanks for joining us and be sure to have fun quilting and we'll enjoy the bloopers. Yeah, we'll enjoy the bloopers. Great. Great. Sarah, when I... Um, Is mine even on? What do we do here? Wow, what do we do here at Handy Quilter when we get a chance and there's downtime? All right. Which camera am I looking at? Okay. This one right here. <laughs> Microphones are good. My Loading quilt back shape. here is called, what's it called, Kim? Kim, help me out here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, testing, Adam, Adam testing. sings too. Testing. I, I was. Adam we're gonna done do. the theater. Also, I recently had a trip to the woods where there were some trees and I took a picture. Oh my gosh, my glasses are gross. I wonder. Slacker, so, come okay. on! <laughs> so. Okay, you go. Yeah. Wait, I forgot my text. Too. Am I okay? Wait, so you're recording now? Yeah. Right. Okay. Which camera are we looking at? That one right there. <laughs> What if I what if I come out from behind Barnum? Hair check. <laughs> so I'm doing the I have a bit or something on my neck. So you got to make sure you don't zoom in. She on can it. make those disappear. Just so you know. Okay, we're gonna have to do that over again. Uh, we're good. I totally just blanked there. <laughs> have oh. fun quilting. It's not have fun quilting. Do it or do it. I get my head shaved from one of the best. Is it bleeding now? It's the second one for the day, third for the week. Doodle, doodle, doodle. You're hosting. I know. <laughs> I was making some bloopers. I'm like, okay, don't look at Johnny, don't look at Johnny. <sighs> okay, let me catch my breath here for a second. Don't move, Christina. Don't move. Don't take your glasses off. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we ready to start? What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let her give her a heads up if you're going to see. Sorry. Hello. We'll let you know next time. Kayla, he's about to sneeze. Two. I haven't done my... you put the iron on it and hold it in place you don't iron iron Not. means you're moving back and forth if it's I right there. if I'm trying to spit chocolate on something I'm gonna get lipstick all over and then we've got a whole other problem to deal with <laughs> what if I do this what if I do this <laughs> hey okay go from the back we're gonna jump no okay <laughs> boxy moxy dancer <laughs> Woo! Oh, <are> <laughs> Places, places, everyone. Perfect. Oh, that's what this hand said. <laughs> you guys did okay. Right? Oh, oh man. Ugh. Wait, can we hold on just for one second? The code word. You're not showing my phone yet, right? Oh, you are. Oh dear. Well, don't, you guys don't. Hold on. <laughs> the eighth inch. Sorry. Oh, it's so close. <sighs> Me too. All of us women, we're all hot women in here. <sighs> Fancy panties. Powerful, powerful panties. panties. <laughs> we're talking powerful panties with Christina. And he said it with a totally pretty face. I just kept going. <laughs> World news. Hey, I hope you're watching. So this is when you would not want to float. We call it the F word here. How do you say your last name? Loading. 
irregular shapes. And I know some of you think of other words like flotation device or fruit. Um, but, but we're talking about floating. Float, so. floating. Kayla, please promise you'll just delete it. <laughs> but it's not just YouTube, it's Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. I just want you to land. <clears throat> Welcome to our HR8. We'll start again. I'm like, you should see what I do when the camera's normally turned off. We're recording, we're good. Is our microphones working? All right. And I'm hosting. That was my thought. Are you guys all good with that? Okay. Yeah. Please well, tell we us. Waited <laughs> till this Easy grass clamps, the super clamps, and also, shoot, what are they called? I am so excited for Academy. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to start again. <laughs> I was still filming. Oh. <laughs> I've been, oh, man, I want to be a one take wonder today. That's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, we won't look at you. We'll so. look over there. <laughs> Four. Right I don't know how to do that. Break the thread. The thread ran out. What the heck? <laughs> you clipped it, really? To change oh, thread colors. Thread. And oh, she's yeah. recording. Your oh. <laughs> so when I say, I think that covers everything, Christina, you say, no, it doesn't. What about this? <laughs> Why? I looked at the monitor well, and the good. camera angle was at your crotch shot. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> That's I'm ready to go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, it's a long time scary. when I'm giggling and laughing and cursing in my head. Catch it if I throw it at you. So, Christina, wow, it's below the camera. I can't see it on the frame. So, you know, we're good. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I love okay. pillows. I put my shirt on Christina and she looked like she's drowning. And I this is like the Laurel and Hardy show.